Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Braun 12 cup programmable coffee maker. This is their BrewSense coffee maker. So it comes with a 12 cup, 12 cup glass carafe with a hinged lid. It also has a warming plate. Up here, it also comes with a carbon water filter. It's got a nice little holder that you can set the date on when it's supposed to be changed. It does come with a cold gold tone filter, but you can also put in a number four cone paper filter. That's what I'll be using today is a number four cone paper filter. It's got this brew basket here. Here's the brew head. Okay, so it's got a power button. So the first thing you're gonna do is turn the power on, but this doesn't start the coffee maker. When you're ready to start the coffee maker, it's got this brew button here and the little green light above it comes on to let you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. You can set the clock. It's got an auto on. You can program this to come on automatically in the morning. You can also change the auto off, how long the warming plate stays on after the coffee maker is done. It's got a clean light to let you know when it's time to descale, and then there's also a cleaning mode to put the machine into. And if you're doing a small batch of coffee, it does have a one to four cup button. It kind of delays the coffee brewing process a little bit to give you a richer coffee. Okay, so I've got my number four cone paper filter in. Now, I'm only gonna brew six cups of coffee. So I'm only gonna fill it up to the six mark and I'm gonna put six tablespoons of coffee. If I was gonna do the full 12 cups of coffee, I would put 12 tablespoons of coffee in and fill it up to the 12 mark. This takes just normal drip coffee maker ground at a medium ground. Okay, so there's the six tablespoons of coffee. Okay, so I've got my, my craft filled up to the six mark. I'm simply gonna pour it in the back. Again, whatever amount of water you put back here, that's how much it's gonna brew. There are little steps there to show you how much water you've got installed. And then I'm simply gonna come up here and hit the brew button. So yeah, make sure you turn it on first and then hit the brew button. That brew button's gonna flash. I got a stopwatch started. It starts brewing right away. We'll do some temperature checks and see how it tastes. Okay, so we're going on the six minute mark. We're almost to the six cup mark and it's almost finished brewing. So it brews about a cup a minute. So if you're gonna do the full 12 cups, it would have taken 12 minutes. And so the water at the top I'm seeing when it's, it's about 194, 195. And so the coffee coming out the bottom is right around 184. Okay, so let's grab ourselves a cup of coffee. See how hot a cup of coffee we get? The craft pour is really nice. All right, we end up with 170, that's a very hot cup of coffee. Here's how the coffee looks. I had some of this earlier this morning, it's really hot to drink right now, and I have to add a little bit of cream and sugar to mine, but it makes a very good cup of coffee. So you'll know it's done brewing, that light goes steady now. That tells you that the warming plate is on. And it will shut off, you, again, you can program the auto shut off from zero to four hours, but if you're done brew it with your coffee maker, you can just turn it off yourself, hit the power button. So up here, we can see how the coffee grounds did. Cleanup is very easy. There's a little handle on here. You can go get rid of the coffee grounds and the filter. That is dishwasher safe, but so is the craft. Braun makes a really nice coffee maker. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.